Today in Crypto Bitcoin has recorded a new all-time high of $35,879.36 according with no end to the BTC bull run inside crypto traders are wondering where to next for the pioneer cryptocurrency's price. Bitcoin price has surged to a new all-time high again on January 6 with crypto bulls pushing BTC above $35,000 after days of consolidation in the low $30,000 range. Bitcoin continues to set new price records into 2021, the BTC price breaking above $35,000 for the first time ever today, surpassing its previous all-time high set just days earlier of $34,800 on January 3. As Bitcoin Wales liquidated over $2 billion in crypto on major exchanges on January 4. Bitcoin underwent the comparatively huge retracement dipping below $28,000. However, the crash was short-lived, with BTC quickly recovering and pressing into new all-time highs above $35,500 since smashing the psychological resistance of $20,000 on December.16. The Bitcoin price has now gained around 80% and is up over 26% in the last 7 days alone driven largely by an influx of institutional investment. The Bitcoin price has since retraced to around $35,000 at the time of writing. Bitcoin price analysis, what to expect. Source, BTC slash USD trading view Bitcoin has resumed its uptrend after holding the 30,000 level yesterday and it has just reached a new historical high at $35,879.35 today. In the 4-hour chart, we can note that Bitcoin gets a nice looking bullish pin bar after it reaches 30,000, as drawn in the circle, the price has resumed its upwards momentum and reaches a new high today. Source. BTC slash USD trading view currently, the BTC price is facing resistance at the $35,900 level, and the previous top at the $33,000 level has now become a new support level that traders may pay attention to, which also rhymes with the 50% FIB retracement level in case it breaks. The 0,618 level at 32397,86 is expected to provide a strong support level. Source. BTC slash USD trading view however, in a weekly time frame, we can notice that the RSI of BTC price has gone far beyond 90, which has not happened since the last top of the bull market. It is a clear sign of BTC being overbought and retracement could occur any time. From the experience learned in the last bull market, a 10% to 30% pullback would be healthy for BTC to sustain its uptrend. Despite the RSI being very high, it does not mean that the price has peaked or that we are near the top. It's because, in a crypto bull market, it is very common for RSI to keep staying in the overbought region. With the increasing blind pressure from institutional investors and high net worths, it would be very dangerous to predict the top and trade against the trend and it is often considered a safer action to buy during pullback than shorting the market. Things look grim for Ripple as Tetragon, a former investor in the company, has turned against it, filing a complaint against the fintech firm. UK investment company Tetragon Financial Group Limited issued an official complaint against Ripple with Delaware Chancery Court. The financial firm has been a major investor in Ripple's $200 million Series C round in 2019 but has decided to pursue Ripple in court shadowing the Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit against Triple for unregistered securities offering through XRP. The commission alleges that XRP should be classified as a security and that Ripple has violated the Securities Act of 1933 by profiting from XRP sales, reaping $1,3 billion in profit. In Tetragon's complaint, it demanded that Ribble reclaim its equity under the Series C investment agreement with Tetragon and asked that Ripple's assets and liquidity be frozen until a payment has been issued. Under the Series C investment agreement, if XRP is considered a security, Ripple is required by law to redeem their Ripple equity held by Tetragon, if the latter demands it. Additionally, Tetragon has requested for a temporary restraining order, a preliminary injunction as well as an expedited trial against Ripple, 
According to Bloomberg, Ripple says the lawsuit has no merit. Ripple has addressed the lawsuit and argued that the lawsuit had no basis, as a conclusion has not yet been reached in court to place XRP definitively in a securities basket. It explained, in Ripple's Series C investment agreement, there is a provision that if XRP is deemed to be a security on a go-forward basis, then Tetragon has the option of having Ripple redeem their Ripple equity. As a conclusion has not yet been reached by the SEC lawsuit alleging XRP is a security, Ripple said that Tetragon's lawsuit had no merit. XRP loses grayscale investments support rather, the fintech firm expressed its disappointment in its affiliate, saying that Tetragon was taking advantage of the fact that there was a lack of regulatory clarity in the US to strong-arm Ripple. XRP's outlook remains fairly uncertain, as its operations inside the US may be inhibited by the Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit. Currently, it has been unseated as the third-largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization by Litecoin as it continues decreasing in value. Many leading crypto exchanges and funds have moved to delist XRP, with Grayscale being the latest one. Grayscale recently removed all XRP from its portfolio, following a quarterly review. It announced that it will allocate the cash proceeds from XRP sales to reweight its digital asset portfolio. Currently, Grayscale's digital asset portfolio holds 81,63% of Bitcoin, BTC, 15, 86% of Ethereum, EDH, 1, 43% of Litecoin, LTC, and 1,08% of Bitcoin Cash, BCH. Bitcoin price started a fresh increase above the $33,200 resistance against the US dollar. BTC is likely eyeing more upsides above the $34,500 and $35,000 resistance levels. Yesterday, we discussed the chances of a fresh increase in Bitcoin price above $33,200 and $33,500. BTC did gain bullish momentum and it was able to clear the $33,200 and $33,500 resistance levels. There was also a break above a major bearish trend line with resistance near $32,400 on the hourly chart of the BTC slash USD pair. The pair gained pace and it even broke the $34,000 resistance zone. It tested the $34,500 resistance and settled above the 100 hourly simple moving average. A high is formed near $34,536 and the price is currently consolidating gains. It tested the $33,800 support zone, and the 23,6% Fib retracement level of the recent wave from the $31,196 swing low to $34,536 high. If there are more downsides, the price could test the $32,800 support. It is close to the 50% Fib retracement level of the recent wave from the $31,196 swing low to $34,536 high. On the upside, the price is facing hurdles near the $34,500 level. A clear break and close above the $34,500 level may possibly open the doors for a surge above the $35,000 level. In the stated case, the next major stop for the bulls could be near $36,500 or $37,200. If Bitcoin fails to clear the $34,500 and $35,000 levels, it could start a fresh downward move. An initial support on the downside is near the $33,000 and $32,800 levels. The main support is now forming near the $32,400 level in the 100 hourly simple moving average. A close below the 100 hourly SMA could start a fresh decline towards the $30,000 support zone in the near term. Technical indicators Hourly MACD The MACD is gaining momentum in the bull zone hourly RSI relative strength index the RSI for BTC slash USD is well above the 55 level major support levels $33,800 followed by $32,800 major resistance levels $34,500 $35,000 and $36,500 Chang Ping Zhao the chief executive of Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange by trade volume, 
reported a record of $80 billion in 24-hour trade activity on January 4. On Twitter, CZ compared the recent activity to the volume posted during the last record-breaking bull cycle, noting that the past day of trade equates to four times the volume processed on the exchange from November 15, 2017 to December 15, 2017. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Cardano was trading at $0,272068 by 2139, 239 GMT, on the Investing.com index on Wednesday, up 20,02% on the day. It was the largest one-day percentage gain since March 13, 2020. The move upwards pushed Cardano's market cap up to $8,392929B, or 0. 91% of the total cryptocurrency market cap. At its highest, Cardano's market cap was $23,917000B. Cardano had traded in a range of $0.0254067 to $0.272068 in the previous 24 hours. Over the past seven days, Cardano has seen a rise in value, as it gained 40. 61%. The volume of Cardano traded in the 24 hours to time of writing was $4,211747B or 3,09% of the total volume of all cryptocurrencies. It has traded in a range of $0,1686 to $0,2721 in the past seven days. At its current price, Cardano is still down 79. 85% from its all-time high of $1,35 set on January 4, 2018. Elsewhere in cryptocurrency trading, Bitcoin was last at $34,099.80 on the Investing.com index, up 5. 11% on the day. Ethereum was trading at $1,084.03 on the Investing.com index, a gain of zero. 54%. Bitcoin's market cap was last at $631,661976B or 68, 82% of the total cryptocurrency market cap, while Ethereum's market cap totaled $123,139774B or 13, 42% of the total cryptocurrency market value. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.